Good morning, this is Mr. Priscilla, and today we're going to look at some uh, inequalities. In particular, I want to look at set builder notation and interval notation. An inequality is a statement that has a less than or a greater than. It might have a less than equal or a greater than or equal. Those are the less thans and greater thans with little bars over them. And uh, those are called inequalities. And when we're working with interval notation, this is going to be significant. If there's just a strict less than, either a less than or a greater than, we're going to use parentheses there. You might be thinking, well, wait a minute, what's he talking about? When are we? You'll see it in a moment. Underneath there, you see the less than equal to. That's what the little bar is greater than or equal to. We'll have a square bracket there. So I'm going to do a few problems that don't really require any writing down. Okay, and I guess you don't need to see me any further. So let me get rid of myself and let's look at this. Graph the inequality y is greater than 8. Write the solution using both set builder notation and interval notation. Well, first of all, we're doing the graphing. Read this y, it's just numbers, and this is a greater than symbol, 8. So y greater than 8. Numbers bigger than 8. Well, heck, we can all figure out which numbers are bigger than 8 on the number line. Here, in this answer choice, it looks like it's numbers bigger than 8 that are shaded. And there's another one, numbers bigger than 8, right here. Well, which one of those is the correct graph? Notice the other two, those blue numbers, are numbers smaller than 8. Well, which one, A or D, is right? Let's look back at this little thing. If there's an equal sign, you use a square bracket on the graph. If there isn't, you use parentheses. On our example, there isn't. So you're going to choose the answer that has the parentheses. That's why this statement here is important. If there's equal sign, you use square bracket. If there isn't on the inequality, you use parentheses. Now let's look at the next one. Now they want us to type our answer in interval notation. Well, with interval notation, we're looking at this graph. You're going to put, look at the shaded area. You start off with the parentheses and write the 8. Okay? Then write a comma. And the next thing you're going to write is going to be the endpoint. Well, this thing goes on and on and on forever. Okay? So, what symbol will we use for on and on forever? This little infinity symbol. And with interval notation, you always put parentheses by infinity symbols. So, what I've written right here, parentheses 8 comma, infinity, parentheses, is the same thing as this graph, okay? What region is shaded blue? Well, it starts at 8 with the parentheses and goes on to infinity, and we just have the rule that we'll always put parentheses on infinity symbols. Brackets mean equal to, that would be including, here, we're not including the number 8. We just want numbers bigger than 8. So the parentheses mean not including. Okay. Oh, did I check that one? Yeah, now. And now we're going to write something called set builder notation. The set builder notation is, okay, this is read, the set of all numbers y, that vertical bar right there is such that, and now here's the easiest thing you'll ever do. Just rewrite what's written up here with the uh, 
inequality. Click here and write y greater than 8. This is called set builder notation. There's three ways to represent this, y greater than 8. You can write it with a graph, or you can use interval notation, 8 to infinity. That's the region that's shaded, not including 8, not including infinity. Or set builder notation is really nothing more than what this statement is, but it begins with the little set braces, y, vertical bar. Go on to the next one. Oh, see, this one has an equal sign on it. So, are we going to choose one that has a bracket or parentheses in our answer? Well, if there's an equal sign, you're going to use a bracket. Okay, so it's either this one or this one. Which of these blue areas are numbers bigger than negative 12? Well, these are smaller than negative 12. Numbers to the left are always smaller. There are the numbers bigger than negative 12. So that answer would be C. We all ask, we're choosing the one with the great, with the bracket because of the equal sign on it. And now we have to type the interval notation. So looking at this graph, you start off typing the square bracket, let me see, there's the square bracket on the keyboard. Then you write negative 12, comma, and does it stop? No, it goes on forever. That's what that arrow means, so we'll say infinity. Always put a parenthesis by an infinity symbol, okay? So there's our interval notation. And... Now write the set builder notation. Here all you do is just reproduce what's right there. You say eh, in the box, you type x, I'm typing what's right here, greater than or equal to, that's this symbol here, negative 12. Notice, don't put any parentheses, uh, any spaces, it'll space it for you. Here's another one. Graph the inequality t greater than negative 6. Okay. Well, I guess all of these have had greater than so far. Okay. Well, since there's not an equal sign, we're going to have parentheses in our answer. So if you're just going to randomly guess, which I hope you're not, guess one, make an educated guess, guess one that has a greater, I mean, a parentheses, not the square brackets. So it's either A or B, numbers bigger than negative 6. Now that would be everything to the right. The numbers to the left would be less than. So I'll choose that one. Check it. And now we'll write the interval notation. You start off looking at this shaded area. Parentheses, negative 6, comma, infinity, parentheses. You'll notice I just used the parentheses on the keyboard. If you want to use this, okay. okay. But I just used the parentheses and brackets on the keyboard. Also, remember, you always put parentheses by an infinity symbol. And now... Type the solution set. Okay, just repeat what's right here. T greater than negative 6. So this is called, you're graphing it. You're writing the interval notation. That's the second thing we do after the graph. And then the set builder notation. All right, last one's generated with the less than. So it says less than or equal to, so are we going to have parentheses or brackets? Well, we are going to have brackets. brackets. Good, good. So if you're going to guess, it's either A or C. 
numbers smaller than negative 4. Well, that wouldn't be A, because these are the numbers to the right of negative 4. So that would be this one here, C. Check my answer. Now let's write the interval notation. Now this one's different from the ones I've done. You're looking from left to right on this graph here. Okay. This arrow means it goes on and on forever. So the first thing you're going to do is type parentheses. The way we'll go on and on forever like that is negative infinity, comma, negative Four. Notice you always put parentheses on infinity symbols. And on the negative 4, I'm going to put a bracket because there's an equal sign. Check it. And then this easy part, the set builder notation, you're just recopying what's up there. X less than or equal to negative 4. Okay, so just a little discussion of graphing an inequality. An inequality is a statement that has a less than, greater than, less than, equal to, or greater than or equal to. We are uh, writing the interval notation and the set builder notation. Okay, so those were the examples I wanted there. Just a short video over graphing inequalities, set builder notation, and interval notation. So thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a good week. Bye-bye.